Hey guys, I'm Flea Mango and welcome to Detroit to Become Human Part 9. Really excited to keep going. I think we're nearing the end, which sucks and doesn't suck at the same time. But I really, I really hope I don't kill anyone. I'm really worried that I'm going to. I hope you're okay today. Jesus, Chloe. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. Aww. Thanks, Chloe. I'm glad I didn't shoot you. Wait. Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. Uh, yes, I... We need to continue. As you wish. Sorry, we need to finish the game, Chloe. Well, I'm just gonna leave it and not know what happens at the end. Uh, Kara. Oh, we're crossing the border. Okay, yep. Oh my god. I'm close with Luther. been conducting raids all over the city. Oh god. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be alright. That is shot him. We're almost there. I guess the humans would be humans would be so scared that androids are like taking over, but the androids have made it very clear that they don't want to hurt humans. They want to just to be peaceful. But and they're stronger than you and smarter than you, it's a little bit of a threat that they're gonna wipe you out. So I kind of, I can understand the human perspective. Weird, huh? It is because I am human? <laughs> I don't also very much understand the android uh, perspective. She's still sleeping. Am I just sitting here? Do I not? With oh. all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closed. I was going to say that's really Water dangerous cuts, having a TV in the front, but they're not actually driving the car, expected. so it's Maybe not. Most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? I was playing music, but I was bored. Oh, here we go. That's awesome too, how it turns you around. <clears throat> Let's go, Alice. Guessing the only character who maybe can't die in this is Alice. Although I did cross the thing with her, like the highway. I'm just because she's a kid. Most games don't kill kids. That's, I mean, that that you're responsible for. A little further on but that way, maybe there's the a does? large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. The you absolutely Marcus. have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. Thank you. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. Is her name Lucy? He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. Thank You're you. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Her name's not fucking Lucy. It's Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? I really like the name Lucy, though. Lucy in the sky and with careful. diamonds. Take care of them. I have a really strong suspicion that Luther's gonna die. Come on, girls. You better not hang around. We're gonna meet Marcus. Marcus is cool. We have a bus to catch. What's happening? 
Was I not to leave? I was I not allowed to leave that? Since he's not following me, out. oh, he is now. Okay, I'm not allowed to go back. Okay, Jericho, I don't really remember what you said, Rose, because I was, like, singing the song. Connor, you're wearing a disguise! Are they all going to meet up? I'm really excited. Connor, you know we're going to join them, right? We're not going to stop them. I just want to let you know that. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm supposed to be walking. Um, we might get kidnapped. Kidnapped. We might get uh, arrested by Connor, Kara. Oh, we're changing again. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially... We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids won't do any harm. The cops just gunned them down here with sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square, and, and then the police arrived, and well, they opened fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like just people, like people who want to be free. They're condoling the well, that's good. Having a good effect on the public opinion. Wow, this place is full. forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment, but it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar crisis among its own androids. Uh. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Corbell, has called for the organization of an international oh, conference Jesus, on big. the status of the Arctic. You go fire! The danger of a third world war seems to have been ruled out. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. She's sick. She needs to go to a doctor. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I want to hear I'll it. Stay with Alice. Stupid Kara. What if it's like really important and you've just killed us off? Connor! The time has come for us to destroy. Oh, this is so cool that they're all together. They're gonna blow this up. That's a symbol that I chose. I, I chose it because it looked like a peace symbol. Kind of. There's Luther. Crisis. 
crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw, leaving the way clear for the Russian army. But oh, according don't catch to anyone's forces, attention. the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Gremlin has made no comment for the moment. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Marcus, where the hell are you? The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. Thank you. Worried about your safety? Dial the number on your screen. Are you Marcus? Yes, Marcus. I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? I don't care whether she's human or android. She's just someone who matters to me. Back downstairs. Your androids all over the square. And the police are on and the open fire. I know they're only machines, but they they look like Alice. What the heck? That's an android of Alice. She get cold though and sleep and that. It's different. Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. It's kind of fucked up that she's never gonna grow she up. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Hmm. Well, we kind of guessed it. I still don't understand though why she gets cold and. I mean, I don't care that she's an android. That doesn't change our relationship.
Does she know Cara, she's an android? Is there something wrong? Hug. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Now she can actually say, yeah. Forever. You know, you're not human, so. But it's really screwed up that they made children androids. And Luther's a part of our family too. Marcus now. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. It's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? They'll stop making androids. They'll stop enslaving them. Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone, try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. I don't know what else to do. I mean, didn't realize how much they're hurting us. We've tried dialogue. Find the right words. I think humans listen. are listening, but the ones in charge aren't listening. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it, to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. I just hope we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Guy Marcus has love, gets to experience love. I'll go join the others. 
We may not survive, Marcus. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Fucking hell, fucking hell, fucking hell, fucking hell. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. What are you doing? Um, I need to move my. You're one of us. You Hang can't on. Betray you. I need to move this because I cannot see the choices. Okay, yeah, continue, please. Your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? How do you know he's Connor? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Stay back, or I'll shoot. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program, or a living being, capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. Join us. Join your people. You are one of us. Listen to your conscience. It's time to decide. Yes, Connor. Yes, Connor. so many firewalls up. They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Ahead of you now. Come in, quick! 
Oh, okay, I turned. I shouldn't. No, 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 I knew it, I knew what he was gonna die! They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold, they're gonna be slaughtered. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. What's Simon and Josh? Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know, we got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. I can't remember your name, but I'm so sorry. Are you Lucy? I feel like there's a Lucy in this game that might have been you. Welcome. It's too late, Kathy! Save yourself! Save Alice! No, we're not going to leave you behind! Right, Carl? We can't leave him! I'm not leaving! What do you do? Leaving you. I won't leave you! Kara, no! Part of our family! in danger. I don't care what you Go think. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. I'll catch up with you at the border, okay? Go now. Take care of each other. I hope he does. I really hope that saved him. We'll see him later. Me back. I'm not seeing anything. I'm sorry. I don't know if that ruined my relationship with her. I've got to protect you. I'm sorry. She's gonna be dead out there. I'm sorry. There's nothing we could do.
avenging angel, aren't we? Pretty much what he is in this. Wasting time though, like am I wasting time? I'm not gonna make it to the Quick, this way! Find north. I'll join you later. Out of here. Oh my god, my heart. Thank God. Quick, we gotta go. It would take guts to kill a little girl, even a little girl android. an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's over, Marcus. One of us. One of us. Connor became deviant. Scorched Earth. Marcus or Connor detonated the uh... Ah, so I wonder how Connor does it. Wow, this is long. 
Oh my god. Because you're playing as so many different people as well, that's why it... Okay. Wait, press RB to view Connor's flowcharts. This is Marcus's flowchart. Alright. It's long, guys. Alright. Council with Simon, Josh, and North, 59%. Discuss with North, 95%. Kiss North, 75%. 75% people, why would you not kiss her? I guess maybe people don't like her. They're not 75%. North leaves Marcus alone, 95%. Connor watches North leave, 92%. Jericho is under attack. In the corridor with Marcus. Meet Lucy. Yes, she was Lucy. 92%. Uh, intervene, 75%. Deal with soldiers, 74%. Androids escape, 75%. Progress to the next corridor. Climb away, 63%. Enter a well, 92%. Knock soldiers out, 56%. Androids escape, 56%. Approach the hold, 92%. Intervene, 90%. Neutralize soldiers, 89%. Uh... Soldiers intervene, interrupt 75%, neutralize them 75%, trigger the countdown 89%, and then north is shot 89%. So how do you, how does that not happen? Like, I, how far back do you have to go with, like, that's what interests me. How do you avoid north getting shot? Did I, like, not press a button? Did something happen episodes ago where I put into trigger that north was getting shot? I chose to save north. Of course, fuck you, Simon, for saying there's nothing we could do. S save North, 81%. Connor protects Marcus and North, 69%. So I guess if you'd choose not to go deviant, you wouldn't have done it. Kill the soldier, 66%. Marcus jumps with Simon, 54%. Oh, a lot of people didn't save Simon. Ah, because of the fact that he could die on the roof in another episode. Josh, 86, North, 81, and Connor, 71. All right, let's see Connors. And then we can see Kara's. Spot Alice, 23%. Spot Explosive, 69%. Spot Rupert, 23%. Uh, threaten Marcus, 92%. Confront Marcus, 92%. Become Deviant, 77%. Warn Marcus, 75%. Uh, oh, God. Look at all this that we didn't do. I guess we're not becoming Deviant. Connor joins the others, 75%. How Marcus, 66%. Connor jumps with the others, 71%. All right, Kara. I feel really bad that I didn't open that door. And honestly, I was going to and I pressed sort of the wrong button because it's happening so quick. I looked at them, I pressed the wrong button and before I knew it, I wasn't opening the door. So just to let you know, I did decide to open it, but I wasn't that upset that I didn't open it because that means that, you know, Alice and Kara were okay. I did figure that we would be okay as long as I hit the checkpoints, hit the uh, trigger points. But anyway. Ah, uh, okay. Board the ship. Meet Marcus. Hug Alice, 93%. Kara and Alice in the corridors. I wonder how Luther figured it out. And still questions have not been answered about how she gets cold in that. Is that part of her design to make her more human? I don't understand. And like feeling like she had a fever. And it's not just Kara because other people like, um, I forgot her name again. The woman who helped us with her son, um, that I thought was Lucy, but she's not Lucy. Why am I thinking Beth? Her name's not Beth. Anyway, she, she even was like, oh, she's got a fever. She needs to eat. I think Zelko knew that she wasn't human because he didn't like, you know, he was gonna he was gonna uh, keep her prisoner the same as he was doing with the other androids. Escape with Luther, eighty five percent. Luther opens the door, eighty four percent. Luther is shot. Also, it doesn't tell me wh whether people 
chose to save Luther. Oh, here we go. Run to Luther. Help Luther. 71%. Get Luther to safety. 70%. Leave Luther hidden. 70 spent. I didn't have a fucking choice. Run toward exit. Keep the door closed. 24%. I'm sorry. I did choose to open it, but I clicked the wrong button. So I'll just shoot Android and move on. I'm sorry. Almost reached the breach. So I'll just shoot at the crowd. Play dead. 57%. It worked. Which, thank God. Remain still. 62%. Yeah. I was thinking if I jump on Cardiac, like, Alice and Protector, I'm going to get shot. So I had to stay dead and just hope that Alice stayed dead too. Can't Alice escape 66%. Oh, whoa. So that was a big chapter. That was the biggest one we've had so far. Let me just check how long I've been doing this. Can we do another? Yeah, we can. 43 minutes. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Um, That was awesome. The more meeting up was awesome. So let's continue. I hope that everyone's okay. Carl. I'm lost, Carl. I just wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. I don't want to shed blood, whatever the color. But I can't let them slaughter us. I have to make a decision that is going to affect millions of lives. But I don't know what to do. I miss you, Carl. Me too. <laughs> I miss you so much. He was a good egg. He's got a very cool, um... What are they called? I can't think of the name at the minute. Oh, you're his son? The one that... Tried to get us killed? Like you? Dickhead? Headstone, headstone. He's got a very uh, cool headstone. God, now we're just slumming it. So many of us now. Oh, I'm supposed to be moving. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Apologize to Kara. Decide Connor's fate. What do you mean decide Connor's fate? Hey, Simon. How you doing? people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you.
What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Got everything we do. Nothing else matters. Just, you just... How many of us survived the attack? We get told A few off. hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. God, so many people. Like, it's all, it's like, it's all on Marcus's shoulder. Like, he has to do it. Why is it all up to him? Okay, Connor. Is that you? With your cute little hat on. Oh, and there's uh, this dude over here. Okay, I'm going to talk to this dude first. I don't want to uh, talk to Connor in case that triggers the end of it. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Alright. Connor. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. The whole thing we're doing is suicide. They let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. I 
I don't have a plan, guys. Hang on. Let me let me get into position. Oh, I actually have to go. <laughs> All right, everyone. We are fucked. I uh, don't have a plan. I've been winging it quite a lot uh, this whole game, and I've I've, I've done all right so far. All the main people are alive, so yeah. Woo! Uh, as for the other androids, uh, you know, sorry about your friends and your family that have that have unfortunately perished. Uh, but it's important that you know that the three main androids are alive, and you know, Luther and and Alice and well, Hank. He's not an android, but we care about him. Ah. <laughs> uh, not looking good dudes it's not looking good I like I have a girlfriend now which is cool but she keeps telling me off and everyone just keeps going you save our people save our people it's all up to you like what the fuck there's like hundreds of us why is it all up to me you dude in the blue why is it all up to me huh huh So I have decided to retire. I'm going to Hawaii to live among the stingrays and the fish in the coral reefs. I bid you farewell. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's 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 do seriously. Let's do seriously. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I think we're gonna go with the peaceful option. Public opinion is supportive. I'm hoping that's enough that the peaceful option will win. If it's not, uh, we're screwed. Let's do this. I know, I know you're all angry and I know you wanna fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Marcus chose to protest for his people. What do you mean, do you mean I can view Connor's flowchart? Nothing happened in this. Carl died and broken. You can save Carl? Confide in Carl? You can save Carl? Connor's flow chart. You didn't do anything. Exactly. Oh, I guess you wouldn't be with them, maybe. You wouldn't be with them. Oh, this is all you think. Hank friend, Amanda, betrayed. Oh, fuck you, Amanda. Honestly, in the deepest respect. Fuck you. Fuck you. 
All right, that's going to do it for this episode. I'm excited for the next one. Hopefully, we are getting closer to the end. 10 might be the uh, might be the end of the series, the next episode. Who knows? Uh, we'll find out shortly after the break. <laughs> um, but thank you again all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.